Harvey is just, it, it, just destroyed everything. Everything was lost. Hurricane Harvey, the worst hurricane to hit the United States in more than a decade. Rain is pounding down. Most of America's fourth largest city is now underwater. We've seen that typically it takes two years for federal funds to reach communities after disasters. have anything and you wasn't expecting that and you leave home and you come back to nothing. It was nothing here but Cotton Creek. Water, so much water was in the house. It's been two years that I have been living from my daughter to the next daughter, but I wanted to be home. Now they put beautiful floors in for me, and they painted the room for me. So it's just a joy just to stand and look in there. So SVP constantly looks for ways that we can fortify our homeowners, whether that's making the roof more resilient, and we will build the roof to uh, the highest wind code standard that we can. So protecting those key aspects of the home, uh, should another disaster occur, would allow Miss Harvey to recover on her own. This is my hideout. This is my room. And I love the floors. I just love the floors. The refrigerator, the cabinets, the light. I can just stand back and look at my kitchen and boy, I'm gonna love to cook Thanksgiving dinner in here. There are some of us that like to work with seniors and the reason is they are extra vulnerable. Uh, change is very, very difficult for seniors and they just wanna be in their home. It's a matter of pride and ownership and comfort and security. 80% of the homes that flooded after Hurricane Harvey were outside of the floodplain and so the, many of those families did not know that they needed flood insurance. As a country, we do have to look at are we making communities more resilient and more prepared? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm 83 plus, <laughs> and I don't like change. Like I told Dominique, she asked me how long did I plan to live in this house, oh my God, and I told her, well, until oh they take God. me out feet first.